Hello, and welcome to the second in my series on school leadership. My topic today is Little Things Count. As a child, I can remember my father speaking to me about the importance of being careful with money. He used to quote the old adage, look after the pennies and the pounds will look after themselves. Well, I discovered that the same principle holds true in running a school. If, as the head, you focus on getting the little things right, everything else will fall into place, mostly. And of course, this principle applies in any business. Paul O'Neill, the former CEO of Alcoa, the aluminium company of America, was well aware of this. When he took over the leadership of Alcoa in 1987, he surprised everyone by focusing on worker safety as his top priority rather than financial performance or productivity. He believed that by concentrating on safety and ensuring that employees felt cared for, other aspects of the business such as quality and efficiency would naturally improve. O'Neill's approach was successful. Alcoa's safety record improved dramatically, and as a result, the company's productivity and profitability also increased. Likewise, in a school. You can have five-year development plans and lots of grand ideas, but the fact is, unless you take care of the little things, the big plan is not going to be successful. But what little things? Honestly, there are so many that we couldn't hope to try to cover them in a short video like this. So I plan to deal with some of those bit by bit as I roll out this series of videos. But today, I want to take a minute to look at the one little thing that I believe is the most important in leadership. And that is making sure that your staff feel appreciated. Now, some of you might be thinking, Yes, pay them more money and they'll feel appreciated. Well, that's a big part of it. But often as a school head, you'll find yourself in a position where you have no control over salaries. You're working for a board and they set the salaries and there's very little you can do about how much staff are paid. So you have to look for other ways to show your teachers and support staff that they are appreciated. And the number one way you can do that is by treating everyone with warmth and respect, no matter who they are. That starts with when you pass a member of staff in the corridor and you take the trouble to smile and greet them. Or when you walk past a classroom where a teacher is teaching and you catch their eye and wave and smile. So many managers don't understand how powerful that is. They're too caught up with making sure that mark sheets are filled in and lesson plans are completed the way they want them to be done. I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with that. It's obviously necessary, but I guarantee you, a member of staff who sees their leader take the trouble to greet them and to show a little bit of human warmth will be motivated to work more efficiently. I cannot think of anything more important than that. So, if you're a leader who doesn't naturally exhibit human warmth, take the trouble to at least cultivate the appearance of it. Who knows, you might find that acting it out will result in positive personality change and it will become natural to you. Apart from that, I encourage you to think about your own situation and ask yourself, what little things can I do in my school that will make a difference? Remembering that little things might not seem important, but like the little pieces of a jigsaw puzzle, when you put them all together, you have something that is satisfying and complete. Till next time.